Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising monthly tarot reading for January 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, once again I want to remind you that that is a general reading for Virgo star sign and therefore is going to resonate in a different way and level with every single different Virgo here around the world <clears throat> because you guys have uh, differences into your situations. Uh, for that reason, in this video, I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but unfortunately, uh, you will have to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Uh, <clears throat> if you want your personal situation to be analyzed, like I'm doing for the examples in this, in this video with personal reading, uh, <clears throat> then you can check out my website down below and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Now going to the uh, tarot reading here, five card uh, <clears throat> enhanced tarot spread is what we're going to do. The first card which is marking the topic of your month is going to be the two of wands followed by the six of the four of pentacles excuse me uh, for <clears throat> the intentions that you should uh, adopt or that will be the best possible course of action we do have the queen of wands here as the challenges which are causing predicaments followed by the eight of swords which is the guidance the tarot is offering to you and at the end we do have the five of swords which is the final outcome for you so what we do have uh, for this month, I will put the cards over here as we are going to draw additional cards. Just uh, from the overview uh, for the month, it does look like the two uh, Virgos are going to uh, win a, a serious battle here with a person here, the Queen of Wands. And uh, it seems that until this very moment, that person for one or another, or another reason really gave you quite a hard time. But now that will change drastically and now the two of wands here with the ace of wands it does offer a, a way out so all the topic of your month is going to be you researching and actually at the end seizing a, a way out from the um, blockage or from the situation that is quite blocked for you the ace of pentacles the ace of wands excuse me this represents this um, it, it is defined as a new beginning, but it is more like a restart or finding a, a new way how to approach um, a situation. And as we do have the two of wands here on a prime position, this month is going to be where you will start uh, capitalizing on the on the new options available in front of you and for some of you as well this card uh, does represent with the ace of wands here it does represent a, a huge improvement it's not even it's, is the improvement the word oh it's kind of like development it's kind of like further development of your situations just to give you an example here uh, if we we put on the line relationship and that is about your relationship these cards are pointing that until this very moment you may have feel stuck into your relationship and now in the month of January 2019 uh, you are seeing how the things can actually stir again and uh, taking advantage of that, putting that relationship on its outer limits, you co investing into it or rather performing for it, then things into your relationship or into your career for that matter uh, will be set in stir back again. Therefore, this is going to be a, a month of a, a huge advance here, a, a drop of blockage, you know, and it's kind of like a, a, a huge straight, I don't know how to even say it, but let's say that you are going to make a, a huge steps forward now important to be said with these couple of cards is that is going to be quite dynamic jumping from one thing to another just to find the most appropriate way for you how to tackle with your situations career wise or relationship wise suddenly you are going to find out a solution to your issues here with the ace of wands and exert all of your efforts and influence for that matter in order to take on that solution and incorporate it into either your career or either your relationship so that is going to be a month i don't want to say of salvation but let's say a month of 
of significant breakthrough and it's going to be a breakthrough against this person here most likely a woman now the next card that is the four of pentacles which is the intentions that you should incorporate followed with the uh, Queen of Swords. So this, these cards here are pointing that there are uh, the solutions that you are to find, all right, or the very uh, core, if I may express myself that way, of the matter to put your situations into stir. It kind of resides a little bit outside of the current means that you do have. So it's going to take more research or it's kind of like it's going to take more deliberation than usual for you to to kind of define for yourself and to find out how exactly to approach your relationship and to approach your career as well i want to explain you that now the queen of swords here points your intentions the very core of your intentions with the uh with the general intentions here of the four of pentacles now the queen of swords it is someone very capable to push the things through the queen of swords it is that kind of a personality who learned their lessons from the past and now they know what exactly needs to be done so they don't repeat the same mistake over and over again while the four of pentacles it is a card pointing to a defensive position one resides to their comfort zone and etc etc and now uh, these cards are not very compatible what i mean is the true elements of dignities uh, dignities they are uh, natural enemies here and therefore you have a choice to make either you should seek the solution outside of your comfort zone which is is the right course of action or you will reside into the zone of comfort and stay in the same place once again because what we do have here with the third card third main card is that we do have a person who is pressing influence upon you why because they very well know how you think they very well know how you act they very well know um, <clears throat> you know how you're gonna take on things and they are exploiting this knowledge in your own human nature to be one step ahead of you but now as you are going to step outside of your comfort zone or you do have that option available and as we said here with the ace of wands this is something brand new you know the ace of the ace of wands points to restart but you can't restart something the same way that it died if i may express myself that way so you have to try something different something that you don't have much experience right now but from your current experience you know that the previous attempts were futile so you definitely have to try something else and that will be stepping outside of your comfort zone like taking on a different approach for your relationship or a different approach upon your uh <clears throat> upon your project which totally is going to throw off balance that person here that is going to baffle them and they will not know how to react. The Queen of Wands, as I said, that expresses up a, a person who is kind of appearing themselves as a predicament, as a challenge that you need to overcome. Now, the world card here with the Queen of Wands, it does point to her relation with not, not with you, I will say her because it's a queen but that very well could be a male as well and her relation is not with you in general but it is with your affairs so she is related that card is related to your affairs and there is nothing personal of what she's doing it is just your success lies with your demise uh, her success excuse me it is defined but by, by your demise or by your uh your lack of success if i may express myself more milder about it about it so if you end up um <clears throat> happy she's gonna be miserable if you end up lucrative she's gonna end up uh, in poverty if you end up you know miserable she's gonna end up happy and etc etc now what is the trick here all right so she is kind of pulling a strings into the um final line of development what i mean is that i have something to work out and suddenly this person um kind of involves themselves and things are really deteriorating from there that could be uh 
your parent for example let's say that you're in a relationship I am giving this very often as an example but you know you want to do something with your husband or with your wife for that matter and I had to be executed let's say a vacation something happened this woman for example is abusing or this person in general is abusing your emotional relationship with them and you are basically rescheduling or you're completely abandoning your personal plan that could be one way to interpret it but in general she uh, this card or that person is um, involving themselves into your matters at their final stage and this is how you're going to define who that person is how you can overcome them well stepping outside of your comfort zone as i said taking on a different approach for example if it is your parent and you are used to share your uh, enterprises and your plans with your parent well maybe you have to step out of your comfort zone and stop sharing what you are to do with your partner for example or it could be as well related to your career what these cards here are pointing is that the less people know about or insignificant people know about your plans the better because the influence here that comes it comes from a person who is not directly involved into your things but um, if you um, but your happiness once again it appears to be uh, their misfortune and that's why they're influencing at the very end just before that thing actually works out it depends on what that thing is will depend on your personal situation but once again you will find a solution uh, for that dilemma or for that drama throughout the month of January and that solution lies very well by, by you adopting a different strategy how you tackle with this person or how you take on the relationship with that person because you do have a, a relationship with them they are not a complete stranger to you I mean you actually have a, a common ground with them the next card that is going to be the ace of the eight of swords which is the guidance the tarot is offering to you with the judgment card so uh this is a pretty uh a broad meaning and uh, these cards here they are quite supportive to one another and what they say is that as soon as you find uh, your niche of how you can maintain you know your progress either into your career and either into your relationship you have to keep on with it even um, even if this is not liked by many and it's not gonna be like def de definitely with this uh, with this person here and uh, that will kind of cause uh, some disruptions in between you and that person in a relationship kind of like a disruption into um, how can I place it into um, communication for example or into the general routine that you are following with this person for example if that is a parent of yours you know as soon as you start doing things and you're not sharing it with them so they cannot influence you anymore they may start you know kind of like a um, <clears throat> drop off communication with you to a certain amount or they may try to uh, make you feel guilty of it and etc etc but again you have found your niche of how you're gonna feel yourself happy not just that but how you're going to uh, as well progress forward with your um, enterprises either career or relationship wise because the judgment card it does expresses the, the the right way the true way how you how one is going to establish their path forward the eight the eight of swords here in a contribution as a main card point that you need to tunnel vision it all right as soon as you find the right way how you're going to improve yourself and again improve yourself not improve that woman here most likely or a male for that matter but improve of yourself you have to tunnel vision it and you need to push on forward even though this is not going to be liked by that person who tried to exploit your emotional state as i said in order to diverse the, to diverse you from the path that it is the right path for you so in this month there will be a couple of uh, things happening before we go to the final outcome first you will be able to uh, achieve personal independence from someone who very well knows you they 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 know your nature and they know how to influence upon you all right that will happen through you uh, kind of like sprawling your comfort zone and firstly stepping out of it 
and second of all uh, you will uh, find at least one of your right paths to move on forward so if you have that question to yourself Virgos am I on the right path with a particular thing that it is very important for you throughout the months of January uh, yeah I mean most likely you are on the right path and you have to tunnel vision it but also it is important to know that you are going to um, obtain a, a personal independence according um, regarding a, a certain person that until this very moment influenced your life to a, a great extent and at the end we do have the five of swords here with the wheel of fortune <clears throat> so this is just a um, additional how can I place it um, an additional strength it is what these cards are adding to the guidance here so the more you press on this right path of yours right the more you press on the more you are going to start realizing your first per personal capabilities the more you are going to realize how much actually options available available you do have in front of you because before that your options available were constrained only uh, to the options available that that person had in front of them all right so if your option available did not match with theirs they did everything they they could to deprive you from that options available from that option available but as now you are tunnel visioning not them but something else <clears throat> you are seeing of how much options available you do have and the five of pentacles the five of swords here excuse me this point that at the end you will do whatever you can to take advantage of those uh, options available to capitalize on them even if that will not be liked once again by that woman again you need to know that this woman as we do have the world card here this woman uh, i say woman but again it could be a male it is more stronger or it gets strength for not being capable for you not being capable to accomplish certain things so the more you fail the more stronger they become the more you prevail the more weaker they become in an influence for that matter and not just in influence with their personal affairs as well but <clears throat> that is the world these days you know i mean you do we do have how can i place it a, a mutual use from one another unfortunately you do have no use from this person at least not with these substantial things in your life and this month it is where you will have to take on a different part of theirs even if that is something they will not like at all but at the end of the day it is your life Virgo and you have to make what is best for your life and not for theirs so that being said guys this was your monthly tarot reading for january 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again that was general reading for virgo star signs and therefore it's going to resonate in a different level with every single one of you um <clears throat> as every single virgo in this world has different situations if you want your uh your personal life to be on the line here to be given instead of examples in one tarot reading well that is a subject subject or personal reading and for it you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing rat signing out now see you next time bye